Hi everyone, welcome to Mat A02, The Magic of Numbers. Uh, this is a um, one uh, A-level class that uh, is going to be covering some very broad ideas about what mathematics is, what numbers are, and how to think like a mathematician. And uh, we're going to get started uh, by, uh, per usual, let's go through the syllabus sort of quickly, and then we'll uh, get to actually working on um, what numbers are. So let's first start by jumping over to the syllabus. So note that the class is going to be done uh, for the main class website is here. It is linked to on the Quercus. Uh, we have a tentative course calendar. Uh, some of these things are still subject to change, um, such as the date of the midterm and final, which uh, aren't assigned yet. Uh, the class will, will basically be, uh, will have several different ways of communicating with each other. So you can always, of course, send me an email. Uh, oh, just a moment. It looks like people are having trouble getting into the Quercus. So let me try to get some of that done. Uh, there will be a couple of logistical difficulties in the first couple of days, of course. Um, so, uh, the magic of numbers, the main class website is here. Uh, we have a Zoom link for the lectures with a password. So uh, we have a gala.town link for the tutorial sessions and office hours. So let me show you what that sort of looks like, just so that you guys can see. This will be, oh, I hope this doesn't break my computer doing all this at the same time. So there will be a gallery.town link. This is a virtual classroom that we'll be using. Don't go into it now or it might mess up your Zoom. But there will be a gallery.town link, uh, which is a virtual classroom, which we'll be using to run the tutorial sessions. Uh, let me close that out. Um, and uh, we also have some recommended readings. Uh, these are from The Magic of Numbers by Benedict Gross. Uh, I will sort of mention which chapters that uh, the recommended readings are coming from. Um, and uh, that will be available on Quercus, so you should take a look at that. Uh, we will be, for the entire semester, we'll be submitting all homework assignments via Crowdmark. Uh, let's see, oh, I need to sign in. You should be able to sign, you should be able, you should, you should have gotten an email inviting you to Crowdmark, so this is the magic of numbers. I will have questions on, uh, I will put the homework assignments on here, as well as uh, put a link in Quercus just so that uh, you guys can access everything. Uh, what else about the syllabus? So the lectures are synchronous, so they're from 9 to 10 a.m. on Mondays, 9 to 11 a.m. on uh, Wednesdays, uh, and I will lecture, standard lectures. Uh, participation does form a required part of your final mark. Uh, for the purposes of online participation, that's just going to be through the chat. So there will be various points throughout the course where I will ask you to answer A, B, C, D, or E in the chat, or respond in free-form text in the chat, which I'll read. And uh, I will, at their, uh, every, say, two weeks or so, I'll go back and look to make sure that you guys have been participating. So long as you guys have uh, answered, say, roughly half of the participation questions that I ask, you will get full marks for participation for the purposes of the chat. Um, if you have any questions about that, uh, you can ask a question on Quirk, on Piazza, which is a way for you to ask questions that any student can see. So now, of course, you can send me emails. Uh, make sure you write A02 in, in the subject line of the email, just to minimize the chance I lose your message. Um, I get a lot of messages, and it's easy for things to get lost. But if it's a, uh, so send me emails or questions pertaining specifically to you. However, if you have a question that other people might find useful, and that is most questions, you can put it up on Piazza, and that will allow the teaching team to uh, talk to you uh, while, while responding to everyone's questions. Uh, let's see, so synchronous lectures. Oh, yeah. Uh, throughout the syllabus, I have lots of places where I talk about pandemic preparations because, effectively, if we move into in-person teaching, like, a lot of the format of the class will change because there are tons of things you can do in person that are really hard to do online, unfortunately. Uh, there will be tutorials and quizzes. The tutorials are going to be spent reviewing material for the class or as sort of complementary material. So your TAs, um, they'll be mostly run as hands-on practice sessions, so your TA will introduce a problem, you'll break into small groups to work on them, before coming back as a tutorial to go over the, the solution. Practice session tutorials are optional, uh, however, during five of the tutorials, and these are marked on the calendar, so the quizzes, uh, there will be in-tutorial quizzes. Uh, to ensure that there's fairness, um, I will always write at least five similar but distinct quizzes. One of them will be a practice quiz I published in advance, so you don't get any advantage from going on 
Friday instead of Tuesday. You will have the same materials available to you. Um, I know you guys talk to each other, and so this way everyone gets access to the practice quiz, which will be very similar in format to the real quizzes. Uh, let's see, let's go through the other evaluation first. So there will be a final exam. Uh, there will be a midterm. The dates haven't yet been set by the registrar. Uh, there will be five quizzes, as I mentioned. Uh, um, you will be allowed to use a handheld calculator with no capacity to store text, but no other aids. So this means you can't use a phone, you can't use a graphing calculator, but an ordinary calculator to do multiplication and things like that is allowed. Um, note that if you do better on your final exam than on your worst quiz mark, um, I will automatically replace your worst quiz mark with the mark you receive on the final. This means that you can miss one quiz um, because if you get miss a quiz, you get a zero on it, but that will effectively be replaced by your score on the final. It's only for a single quiz. Um, obviously, there, these are, there are many reasons why you might uh, have to miss a quiz. You get basically one free missed quiz, uh, which gets replaced with your final. If you have a documented reason for being unable to attend the quiz, please email me, and in exceptional circumstances, um, we'll try to arrange things so that you might be able to take the quiz with one of the other tutorials. There's a 5% participation mark, so um, basically just for replying in chat, or when we go to in-person teaching, there will be other ways of doing participation. Uh, Piazza is not required, but it is encouraged. Uh, similarly, tutorials are encouraged, but not marked. There will also be five take-home assignments to be turned in via Crowdmark on the date specified. Um, every student, so every one of you, is given one late assignment token that you can redeem for a one-week extension on a homework assignment. Use it wisely. Um, note that collaboration is encouraged on the assignments, but you must document and cite any sources or classmates you consult. So if a friend helps you with a problem, just write their name down. You won't get any penalty for it, your friend won't get any penalty, but you have to write it down. Um, if you found a tutorial for the solution online, um, just write it down, mention the website. So long as you document your sources, you're encouraged to collaborate and find alternate resources. I will also have suggested problems and practice quizzes. Uh, so for example, I have suggested problems set up right now. So these are ungraded problems. <coughs> Excuse me. These are ungraded problems, or like worksheets, just the, going through some of the material that you should already know. So the first set of ungraded problems for this week includes just a basic review of high school arithmetic, so um, multiplication, division, PEMDAS, uh, linear equations, things like that, um, which this will be gone over in tutorial today, uh, this week as well. But yeah, so those are not graded. Um, we suggest that you do them, we'll go over them in tutorial, but they're mostly for your own education. And lastly, um, so we'll go over this a little bit more later, but I am offering a potential 5% bonus, so to create a pop-up YouTube, pop, popular math YouTube video presentation. So this is just to give you the opportunity to engage with mathematics in a different way. So uh, this time for that sort of bonus project, uh, which is not required, um, you'll have the opportunity to relate to the topics in the class uh, through a different medium. Um, you may work on the video in groups of up to three. Make sure to run the topics by me. Uh, note that I will be marking the videos, so a mediocre video might only get a 1% extra, whereas an exceptional video will receive a full 5% bonus. More on that later. Um, yeah, so you should make sure to read through the syllabus. It has lots of information about what happens if you miss a midterm, what's a lot, um, what are valid excuses. Um, one important note, right now, due to the pandemic, um, we will require the documentation that the pandemic, oh, sorry, that UTSC requires. So as of the writing of the syllabus, if you have an illness, for example, um, if you are unlucky enough or to uh, catch COVID, things of that sort, you only need to submit a absent self-declaration form via COVID. You don't need to get a physician's note for that. Um, obviously, physicians are really overworked right now. Uh, should you be excused from the midterm low, you will receive the average of your quiz and final exam marks weighted according to the above. So two times your quiz average plus three times your final exam mark divided by five. Um, should you not be excused, you'll receive a zero. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, so for those of you, I know some of you might be um, first years or second years. Uh, there, the UTSC does have an accessibility services office. It is physically located in the um, room SW302 in the science wing, but of course you can also email them. Um, if you let Lem, know, let Lem and us know your needs, we can help you achieve your learning goals in the course. 
Um, so be sure to take advantage of those uh, things. Uh, let's see, I should also highlight the academic integrity um, statement. Please don't cheat. It makes my job a lot harder, and it means that we'll all have to go through a very unpleasant experience. What is cheating? Well, it depends on what the assignment is. So, for example, on a quiz or exam, you can't use anything that we don't let you uh, don't explicitly say. However, on the homework, I am explicitly allowing you to collaborate as much as you want, so long as you write it down. You still have to write down who you collaborate with, but you're allowed to collaborate with who, with anyone. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so look through the syllabus, so that's lots of important information. Um, and uh, also just in general, we have uh, four TAs, uh, so um, they will be running your tutorials. Uh, we haven't figured out office hours yet. My office hours will be on Wednesdays after class. I might do some, I think I mentioned that I'll plan on doing some extra office hours probably on Mondays as well from 12 to 1 p.m. Uh, so that really depends, and the website will always include the most up-to-date information on that. Uh, yeah, so any syllabus questions before we can jump into the class proper? <clears throat> okay, so if there aren't any more questions, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, okay, there, there are questions. Um, so, uh, where do you post the practice questions? The practice questions will be posted on the website. So right now they're already posted here um, on uh, the class website. The syllabus and pre-lecture notes won't open for me. Uh, will the assignments be due at a specific time? Yes, the assignments will be due, uh, the assignment due dates are all already on the website. They'll be due at 11.59 p.m. Um, the assignments will be basically math problems for the most part. Um, and I'll, I'll put up the first assignment within this week, and hopefully that will be make things a little bit more obvious. Um, it'll be basically uh, working through the types of problems that we'll be doing uh, in the course. In terms of collaboration, can it be someone outside of the course? Uh, so, if you're talking about collaboration on the homework assignments, yes, it can be someone outside of this course. You have to write it down and explicitly mention that you're from someone outside of this course. So, remember, uh, collaboration is not allowed for the quizzes or the e exams, obviously. But for the homework assignments, you are free to get assistance from people outside of the course if you want, so long as you write it down. Uh, the syllabus and pre-lecture notes won't open for me. Is anyone else having that problem uh, about opening up syllabus and pre-lecture notes? I, uh, if you still have that problem after the end of the day, send me an email and I'll uh, try to deal with that. But for, is it okay if they're not a student at GTSU of T as well? So like I said, for the... For the homework assignments, uh, you are free to consult any sources you... Oh, uh, the crowd mark might take a little bit because I still need to fit, invite all of you guys to the crowd mark. Um, yeah, it should show up later. I thought I had invited you, but I'll, I'll take a look at that later. Um, it will only become important when we turn in the first assignment, which is on January 28th. Um, let's see. Is it okay if they're in... Uh, how will the quizzes work? Well, that will depend on whether or not we're back in person. So, in theory, uh, we should be back in person during uh, uh, for Quiz 1. Um, that is the current University of Toronto plan, and then the quizzes will be handed out in tutorial, and you'll write them and give them to your TA. If we are not in person by uh, Quiz 1, then uh, we will do online proctoring instead via Zoom, which is suboptimal. Um, I In my syllabus, I ask you to have a webcam because we will be asking you, Len, to have the webcam pointed at you and your writing surface while you're writing it. Um, and they will be synchronous. Uh, sorry, we're on the website. Uh, right here, ungraded problems one. So under, under each of the weeks. So there will be practice questions mentioned on each of the weeks. Um, let's see. Um, in terms of collaboration, I was looking at the schedule yesterday. and noticed quiz three hasn't been posted. Uh, it's right here. Yeah, uh, let's see, I didn't see the notes, crowd mark, pre-election notes. Um, if you're talking about collaboration for the um, optional bonus project, the YouTube video, that has to be someone in the class because, um, well, I'll be marking you all. Um, email me if you have questions on that. Okay, any more questions here? Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we can talk a little bit more about um, 
the and if you have any more questions about the syllabus, uh, post them to Piazza, send me an email. Um, but let's go ahead and do some math. 